So probably the most exciting feature of Cilium 114 is MTLS-based mutual authentication. This was the last big feature missing in Cilium Service Mesh. But what is MTLS? What is MTLS-based mutual authentication? It is instead of simply encrypting the network, it's to provide mutual, uh, mutual authentication between workloads. When we looked at how existing service, mesh, service meshes offer this functionality, they use proxy-based MTLS which does an, a, a mutual authentication handshake and then uh, transmits the data over that MTLS connection. This has one big downside. It means that it is pretty much TCP only, right? In an enterprise environment, we typically have a variety of different protocols. So in our implementation, we split the handshake, the mutual TLS handshake from the actual data path component. And this has several advantages. First of all, it works for any network protocol. It's not limited to TCP. It also means that we don't actually have to put a proxy into the network. So this is better latency, better, better performance, and we do not have a proxy that now needs to have the certificate. So one of the biggest weaknesses of an MTLS-based MTLS model with proxies is that the certificate, which holds the secret to encrypt, is in the same component where network traffic is flowing through. And any component where network traffic is flowing through is vulnerable to those network flow attacks, right? By separating this, we made a, from our perspective, significantly better MTLS-based mutual auth implementation.